Right, there was one club that was released during 2022 that was without doubt a 100% hit with pretty much every YouTube review that I watched, myself included. That club was in fact a chipper. That chipper was from Ping and it was highly successful not only in terms of YouTube reviews, but also in terms of product sales at every golf outlet in the world, pretty much. The Ping chipper was loved by everybody but it had a few issues. And I enjoyed my own success with the chipper in the bag, so much so that I've holed out more times with that club than any other in my bag in terms of wedges. But that wasn't with the Ping chipper. You see, the Ping chipper, the big problem it had was the price tag. It was pretty much 150 UK pounds, and that's a lot of money to pay for what is potentially described by many as a gimmick club. You could invest in something you actually hated and ended up being a waste of money. The shot you just here seen me play was by a product that is far different in price, but potentially does exactly the same. So the next run of shots you're gonna see me play is with a chipper that costs just 25 UK pounds. It has performed incredibly well out here on the green so far this morning at Carden Park. And I think it could be an answer to your chipping woes. So what we're looking at is the Ben Sayers chipper. It is in fact the XF Pro. I'm not sure you should put a pro word on a chipper. Not many would choose to use it, but what is this thing and is it any good? Well, let's go back to that price point. 25 quid is hugely important because effectively this could be a club that you use for only a short time. I'll explain more about that later. But the club itself, well, it's 37 degrees of loft. So again, very similar to the way in which the uh, Ping Chipper is lofted. Although I must admit, visually, it looks as though it presents a lot more loft and address, which will be a very much a positive for a lot of golfers. Those white score lines are very effective against that black face and no doubt that will inspire a lot of confidence for many. But the way it sits at address again is very much different than the Ping Chipper. It is in fact a putter to many um, intents and purposes. The way it sits is very flat and flush to the ground and the way it sits very much upright in the address position into the hands is also very much as you would play a putter. And that leads to playing a putter stroke which could be one of the most simplistic and most effective ways of getting your short game and your chipping woes eradicated and a major positive to the way this thing is put together. So let's start with that putting motion, if you like, that simplifies this whole thing with a uh, chipper in hand. If I was to adopt, if I was to swap this out for my putter, then this is the exact same kind of like rocking motion that I would establish the way my hands grip the club again is very similar to my putting stroke and the way they're sat in terms of uh, in relationship to my body is exactly the same as my putting stroke. So what that does is when you start to introduce a wrist hinge into wedge shots, that's when things get a little bit more complicated and we can often duff a chip, maybe thinner chip. Whereas with this putting stroke, in theory, it's gonna suit more golfers in terms of simplifying the stroke. So we'll have one more go at a shot that you've just watched me play and see with that simple put in motion if we can get that ball up somewhere near the hole. What's strange about that, it was a little bit of a jabby shot from my perspective, but I always ask the same thing. Would I have done any better with my wedge in hand? And the answer is, pretty much 99% of the time, no. Today's video is brought to you in partnership with Hot Golf, the online golf megastore, bringing you the hottest deals in golf. And of course, the clubs featured in today's video. Find the link to the Hot Golf website in the description below and check out some incredible giveaways and offers. Now, one issue with any chipper is they are potentially a little bit one dimensional. So when you come to the rough, they're a little bit more, uh, well, an unknown quantity, if you like, and maybe you'd prefer a little bit more loft. But for a lot of golfers, this is gonna be a struggle. They get into this kind of situation. The last thing they wanna reach for is a wedge. And the idea of getting hold of a chipper, adopting that putter stroke, can we just pop it up out of the rough? I mean, 
I'm always amazed by these things, to be perfectly honest with you, because we look to execute these shots on camera and what you think is everything's going to go wrong. You try them off camera, you're pretty impressed with what they do. And then the, uh, as soon as you press record, you're expecting things to all go wrong. And that isn't the case. This Ben Sayers 25 pound chipper has done an incredible job from a number of shots you've seen so far. And what it acts as is an incredibly good training aid. Got to go a bit that one, roll out, roll out. Maybe slightly under hit, but certainly right on target. And I mentioned earlier on in the video with the ping chipper, I probably hold out more times than I ever have done with wedge in hand. And that's because that simple putting stroke motion makes sure that the club face is pointing directly at the hole or your intended target. It gets the ball on the ground very, very quickly due to the fact that you're not popping it up too high and it's running at the hole. So effectively, you're giving yourself the chance of holing out. But the big deal about this 25 pound investment is the training aid element and that's the fact that if you don't like the idea of putting a chipper in your bag which a lot of golfers don't they see it as almost admitting defeat I think I think there's a little bit of a stigma still attached about putting one of these in the bag and a bit of stick from your mates well if you start holding some chips and I'm sure that will soon change but as a training aid what this does it allows you to build confidence in a style of chipping that you can then take into your short game if you so wish and drop this out of the bag. Now the problem is you can't really drop a 150 pound ping chipper out the bag with such a huge investment but when there's only 25 quid gone into this thing then it can act as that cheap training aid for a short period let you gain some more confidence start to execute that same type of shot with your wedges in hand and all of a sudden you've got a real worthwhile investment and probably the best money that you can spend in terms of gaining some confidence in an area that can really be a scorecard killer. Be nice to hold one just to finish off but I'll tell you what that's pretty much not four out gimme territory and I've done that with pretty much every shot. The final sort of conclusion with this thing is that uh, I got to test this or in my hands due to the fact it featured in our pro shop episode that we do in association with hot golf and it was really to try and highlight some cost effective options in terms of products that are out there i then wanted to carry on a little bit further hence today's video and just see how it performed over a wider range of shots and it's been fantastic i've got to admit it's really really impressive in terms of what it does very simplistic there are elements that I don't like as much as I do with the ping chipper and that one of the main thing is the lie angle and the way it sits at a dress. I also um, prefer the fact that the ping chipper looks more like an iron whereas this is more like a putter. So from a personal preference there are elements that I would sway towards the ping chipper but only if I wanted to put that in the bag uh, as sort of a full-time option based on that £150 investment but if I am looking to get away from if I've got the yips if I've got some if I'm starting to stab with my wedges if I'm starting to blade me wedges I need some help then to me this is an absolute no-brainer invest 25 quid I'll leave a link down in the uh, footer down below this is available from hot golf 25 quid one of the best investments in my opinion you will ever make and to be honest with you one of the best value products that i have ever reviewed on the channel right i'm all done as ever thank you for watching give me your feedback comments down below let me know if you're thinking of investing in a 25 pound ben sayers xf pro chipper and i'll see you all tomorrow night